Welcome to Joe Berg Today, I'm your host, Leroy Viaggi. If you weren't able to make it to the Josie Berg Lane Festival, not to worry, because here's a little taste of what you missed out on. The Josie Berg Lane at Wanilof is an exciting inner city attraction, which kick-started a three-day festival, and we got to capture the day one titled Lunch in the City, which is all about educating your taste buds at the Josie Berg Food Hall. How the Josie Berg Lane came about is I happened to stumble upon the property one day and couldn't believe my eyes when I realized the building actually had its own street or lane or alley at the back of the building. In the moment we just opened for lunch, it's really chilled, and our food vendors are trading, a good place if you work in town, you know, to come and hang around, to have a drink and have something to eat. We want to focus on lunch for them in the city. When people attend markets, festivals or gatherings, they don't focus on the creatives. We get to know the people behind the delicious treats at the Chosen Bread Lane Festival. I find our Indian food very different, very spicy. Um, the aroma has been my passion, uh, you know, for cooking and baking and making savouries. And that's why I've started now popularizing it. My food's actually made from um, homemade ingredients, homemade spices, uh, organic vegetables. I love Josie, Josie Berg Lane and yeah, it's an excellent experience. Um, I've been brewing beer for, for the past three years. It's a lager. Um, I bought the beer, it's a very smooth beer, it's going. The main market, the, so the main market of the beer is the people who love lifestyle, you know, and uh, just Big Lane, it's more about lifestyle, you know, trying new things. So for the brand to be here, I'm we're getting exposed to the market, you know what I mean, getting in contact with the market, you know, about lifestyle, you know what I mean. So I think that's a very dope uh, um, event, and uh, for the, it's going to benefit small brands like us, brewers like us, you know what I mean, you want to grow, you know what I mean get in touch with people who like lifestyle, get in touch with people who like change, innovations and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Basically I'm offering Damri, which takes us back in the days where our grandmother used to bake for, for us, you know, the, during those times, especially more especially uh, on Christmas Day, on festive season, you know. When they come here, they become happy because first of all, they would like to have our kind of food, our African food. So this is an African food. This, this, this food tells us our story, how we grew up and then where, do we, where we come from. Because, you know, it's very, very crucial to know where you come from. This is Gucci. It's an African acronym for Goed uit die Grondheid. It's all natural ingredients we use to produce our own cordials and ginger beer, like your grandmother used to make it. We, we do the bottle of cordials, or I give you a cocktail as presented there, virgin or not so virgin, but it's all of the good, not so much of the bad. How does Josie Berg Lane not contribute to my brand? Um, this really, I, I have to salute the people who brought this idea to this venue, to this address, because Joseburg Lane is just absolutely an experience. We outshit the Joseburg Lane Festival. It offers nothing but good food, the experience, the artistry involved, and of course, what more without having your boy Ray for Joburg today. <laughs> Like us on Facebook, that's JoeBergToday.tv. Follow us on Twitter at JoeBergToday. Still with entertainment, if you're a fan of outdoor romantic activities, then you should definitely check this out. Riversands Farm Village played host to the Movies in the Park installment by Picnics in the Park, with blankets and baskets complemented by a backdrop of lush trees and fills alongside the dam. Picnics in the Park came about because I am from South Africa. I lived abroad for many, many years. I came back, lived in Cape Town, then came to Johannesburg, and I, I couldn't understand why there's all these children activities in a shopping center, why people choose to have breakfast in a shopping center, why your Saturday morning is spent in a shopping center. And also I think that Johannesburg is developed in such a way that it's all gated communities but no one is going out. They're not getting outside. There's a lot of problems with public parks. 
So it is literally about getting people out of shopping centers, kids off their phones, getting you outside and reconnecting. One can only imagine the challenges that come with putting an event of such a scale, especially when it comes to outdoor activities with an intimate setting. The challenges that we have is, for example, when we first started, um, it's a completely self-funded project. I don't rely on sponsorship whatsoever. Um, it's a complete and utter baby of mine. Um, and I rely on the support of my customers. So we do everything we can for our customers. Now it's considered to be winter, but it's not winter. Look at this. It's the most beautiful, stunning day ever. And it's the perfect time to be outside. And I think people have a stigmatism in their minds about summer, winter. When we have, in, in summer, we get thousands of people here, but they complain about the heat. We got to speak to some people regarding their thoughts about the whole entire experience of watching movies in the park. It's actually like my birthday weekend and it is like the most chilled like vibe ever. And you can just come in and like, you know, it's so relaxed. But then also like there's like a party happening that side and like there's, it's, it's just amazing. It's my first time here as well, so I'm having a good time. We're really enjoying it. It's quite chilled. It's a nice family day out. The experience is awesome. It's our first time. I love the chilled vibe, I love the atmosphere, I just love everything about it. Movies in the park by Picnics in the Park. I'm having a great time. What about you back at home? I'm Ray for Chobik Today. Hi, this is Matata James and you're watching Chobik Today. Well, I have to say that's it for today's show, but if you want to know more about what's happening in and around Johannesburg, you should check out our playlist. From me, Leroy, and the rest of the crew, till next time.